Speaker Householder, what do you have to say to Ohio? Not at this time. Do you plan to resign? Speaker Householder, are the allegations against you true? Speaker Householder, have you ever No. Ohio House Speaker Larry Householder says he will not resign on the same day of his arrest on bribery charges. Federal prosecutors say his arrest is just one piece of a complicated puzzle. And that's what we're working to sort out for you. Thank you for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Yolanda Harris. We're glad you're with us. I'm Tracy Townsend. We are talking big money here. An alleged $60 million bribery case connected to a taxpayer funded bailout of nuclear power plants. Central Ohio's news leader has team coverage for you tonight. 10 investigates Bennett Haberly is digging into this alleged criminal enterprise. But we start with Kevin Landers tonight and what the U.S. attorney announced. Kevin. Well, good evening. The U.S. attorney says this is the largest bribery scheme ever perpetrated against the citizens of Ohio. If convicted, Larry Householder could face 20 years in prison. Now, among, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Householder is part of a $60 million pay-to-play scheme. Investigators say money was funneled from an energy company into a charitable organization called Generation Now. Now, because it was a 501c4, it was not required to disclose who its donors were and was not subject to election laws and was never, the attorney says, used as a charity. The U.S. Attorney called it dark money. Now, the purpose of the scheme, according to investigators, was to ensure the passage of House Bill 6. That bill was a billion-dollar bailout by Ohio taxpayers to save two nuclear power plants facing bankruptcy. It worked until a tipster called the FBI and told them how it happened. Today's announcement comes with a warning. From city council to the state house, all forms of public corruption are unacceptable. Now, according to the indictment, uh, it started this all this bribery scheme started back in March of 2017, and it was then, according to the indictment, that Householder began receiving quarterly payments of $250,000. Reporting live from the State House, Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Thank you, Kevin. Now, this all comes back to one word: money. Chief investigative reporter Bennett Haverly is looking at where the cash flow allegedly starts and ends. Bennett. Yolanda, federal prosecutors say that this $60 million that was funneled from an energy company essentially became bribes, money that not only helped secure the passage of House Bill 6 and helped the nuclear energy company, but it also lined the pockets, according to prosecutors, of House Speaker Larry Householder and his associates. Speaker Householder, what do you have to say to Ohio? Not at this time. Surrounded as he left the federal courthouse, House Speaker Larry Householder declined to say much after appearing in court Tuesday on a federal racketeering charge. This afternoon, federal prosecutors laid out their case against him and four other men accused in taking part in a $60 million bribery scheme. According to prosecutors, some of the money was used to help secure Larry Householder as House Speaker and to help secure votes to pass House Bill 6, a $1 billion bailout that helped secure the future of two failing nuclear power plants in Ohio run by First Energy. While the company was not named in the criminal complaint, prosecutors noted that Company A's entities paid Householder's Enterprise $60 million in secret payments over a three-year period in exchange for the billion-dollar bailout. They took our manufacturing jobs. They shuttered our factories. Now they're coming for our energy jobs. Prosecutors allege the money was concealed in a 501c4, a nonprofit called Generation Now that has ties to Householder and others. Generation Now led the ad campaign to help secure the future of the nuclear power plants. Prosecutors said the millions paid into the entity were akin to bags of cash. In a recorded conversation in 2019, Neil Clark, one of the lobbyists charged alongside Householder, said that Generation Now is the Speaker C4 and that Company A's deep pockets and the money being sent to Generation Now was, quote, unlimited. Do you have any response to the charges today? Clark declined to comment as he left the federal courthouse Tuesday. No, I don't have any comment. So did Matt Borges, one of the other co-defendants charged. Prosecutors also alleged that the defendants paid themselves personally millions of dollars in Company A bribe payments.
Now, some of that money, according to prosecutors, was used by Larry Householder to help settle a personal lawsuit and also go to a payment for his Florida home. Now, no pleas today were entered for Neil Clark, Larry Householder, Matt Borges, Juan Cespedes, or Jeff Longstreth. Those who were charged preliminary hearings set for August 6th. All men are required to stay in the Southern District of Ohio. They had to turn over their passports. They had to turn over any firearms. Now, we also reached out to First Energy, asking a company spokeswoman if the company was aware that this money was essentially going to be used to grease the tracks, used as bribes. She didn't have a comment to that question, but said that the company received subpoenas today and that they plan to fully cooperate. Reporting live outside the federal courthouse, Bennett Haverly, 10 TV News. Thank you, Bennett. Governor DeWine said this is a sad day for Ohio. He also wrote in a statement, quote, because of the nature of these charges, it will be impossible for Speaker Householder to effectively lead the Ohio House of Representatives. Therefore, I am calling on Speaker Householder to resign immediately.